Show, episode number 146. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Rom. Hello, all you happy people. Hey there, Rom. How are you doing? Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Surely but slowly. <laughs> wow. Hmm. All right. So anyway, just the two of us for this New Year's End kind of episode. Sorry for the yep. delay, guys, because I was busy at a convention doing practically nothing. It was and some of us are preparing for the New Year's. True that, true that. But New anyway. Year's dinner, fireworks, crackers, video games, and presents, and all other things you can do on a New Year's party. Oh, true. But anywho, um, personally, sorry for the delay, guys. Um, this this is cutting close, but uh, uh, this this won't be a long one, j- just because everyone's a bit busy with life and, well, technically the New Year's. So, Rom, uh, let's move on to housekeeping, because we got one from our friends at Everfree Northwest. But of course, Everfree Northwest is now accepting donations for our 2015 charity auction. Each year, the Everfree Northwest Convention holds a charity auction to benefit the Seattle Children's Hospital. Over the past three years, we have raised over $75,000 for charity. And during out 2014 auction, we raised approximately $40,000. The start of the show was an amazing quilt collaborate upon by 34 artists that sold for a whooping $20,000. Each time we are we are simply floored by the creativity and generosity of the My Little Pony community. Well, Every Pony, we are now ready to accept donations for our 2015 charity auction. If you have an item you wish to donate, please visit the charity page on our website and fill out a donation form at everfreenw.com slash charity. The deadline for pre-con donations is May 15, 2015, two weeks before the convention. At con donations will be accepted as well. Well, it'll be hard to top our 2014 charity auction. We are going to try our best. We hope you'll help us make the 2015 auction the most spectacular one yet. Don't forget to check out our website and forum, and be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and of course, fanfiction. Yep, yep. So, guys, if you have anything you want to give at Everfree Northwest as a donation for charity, uh, this is the time. Your art, your drawings, well, art and drawings are the same. I mean, creative things like art plushies, even a goodie bag of toys or whatever it is. It's a good cause. You can donate cost. your car if you want to. No. Yes, Why not? probably. <laughs> I don't know. That would be hard. But yeah, um, anything good. Anything that's easily bring, brought around, like books or plushies. But yeah, uh, if you're interested, links are in the show notes. They're all there. And yeah, go help our good friends, Everfree Northwest. They're awesome. Hmm, I wonder if I'll make it this year to a convention. Probably someday. Who knows? You mean next year, man? Next year. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Man, Uh, it's that next year, this year thing going on again. Yep. Back in school, at the beginning of the new year, we always wrote uh, the date, like in our notebooks, and we always would write, like, the last year, not the new year. (laughs) Like, at least the first two months. Uh, At least I wrote it for the first two months, because... uh, Were you the only one, then? Uh, I got a really slow memory reaction, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) It takes time to, like, realize what's going on for me. I take things slow. Mm, Okay. Uh, never mind. Like taking slow is our motto too. But anyway, um, moving on to the next topic. Well, news is a bit slow. Things have not been going as speedy as I want them to be or could be. And I was at a con for the past weekend. That's why this show is coming out really slow. So yeah, um, let's go to showtime where. Essentially, we'll talk about what's our plan for the new year and our thanks or our precious memories for last year or 2014, which is tiny wimey stuff. But anywho, uh, for me, I'm just going to say my memorable moments for 2014. There were a few, but the one that's popping out in my head right now is a f- well, uh, interview with Amy Keating Rogers. That was our second year anniversary, and getting her on after the episode was awesome. Uh, she's a nice woman. And also, Heather Breckel, uh, awesome gal, awesome friend, met her at Buck, and mm, really awesome. And you, Rom, anything? 
I'd like to thank my mom, dad, my little bro for supporting my crazy ideas, no matter how crazy and random they are. And memorable moments. Um, memorable moments. This year is when I finally realized where I belong. I quit my job, I bought a tablet, and I went freelancing artist extraordinaire all the way. And having the time of my life. Awesome, awesome. Oh, this is the year that you joined in too. So, yeah. This is the year I am back from the dead. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Had, had you on for one episode and invited you on, what was I thinking? Uh, yeah, I have that impression on people every now and then. What do uh, people find in me? I don't know. Oh, uh, God. I must be drunk. <laughs> but, yeah. So, oh, God. What what else that happened? Uh, bought a 3DS, but that's not really memorable or mentionable. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, this year, hmm, th- there's a lot that happened this year, but nothing comes to mind. We we did interview a few awesome people. Ah, that's yes, always memorable. Yeah, true. Yeah, I think I remember. I think I remember. This is the year where my laptop died. <laughs> oh, that's kind of a sad memory. Or is it good? It's a hidden blessing because um, it died and I had to get something to record. And funny enough, um, it died when I was interviewing the people at Everfree Northwest. So yeah, that was killer for me. So yeah, it died when I had to interview the people at Everfree Northwest. And oh, was that painful. Uh, went out the next day to get a new mic or something like that and ended up getting what I have what I'm using now uh, sent out to repair the laptop and they say that it will cost me 2k just to fix the motherboard so 2k I know that's wait, the, wait 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 2k of what local currency Malaysian okay, ringgit then. but still 2k for fixing the motherboard uh, 2k would be about uh, money conversion, one hundred dollars at about three. So two K would be. Uh, 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 I'm Anyways, not... it was quite the penny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So anyway, yeah, got this new mic set up, and I'm enjoying it. It's really awesome. Also, what else? Well, oh yeah, <laughs> uh, this year went to Buck and met James for the first time. Lucky devil. Oh man, it was such a memorable moment. It was like crazy oh god I, I i remember being in the room first because i had to come in super early uh it was the the flight was what uh, I, I arrived in manchester at about 8 a.m and went to the hotel at 9 they say that i can't go or i can't check in because registration was at 12 or 1 something like that, i don't really remember so i had to Derp around, so I left the luggage at the hotel, and I think I met. Um, who did I met? Oh God, uh, his name is Devon, but what is his online persona? Oh, give me a second. This is I hate names because I can't really remember them. Oh, I know them feel, bro. I know them feels all too well. Yeah. Oh right, Devnight, Devnight. Met Devnight at a uh, pub. Had breakfast there, talked to him, and then met Twilight for the first time. Oh, <laughs> God. Uh, our very own Lord Trout, as yep. we call him. The guy who has a habit of slapping people with the trout in the base. That is true. That is true. Oh, God. But You know why uh, like, cats have this tradition of, like, um, cuddling to your face? <laughs> that means they've accepted you into the pack. With what? Lord Trout, when he slaps you in the fish, means he's your friend. <laughs> yeah, that's... you're now part of the tribe probably uh, depending on who you talk to or who he slaps <laughs> uh, but yeah Indeed. Um, now, let's see I replaced two keyboards when it... okay we're talking technology I replaced two keyboards two headsets and two mice today mm-hmm. uh, not today this year when I'm talking about uh, seriously time flies so fast it feels like only yesterday I know I, I'm in this... I was in that same boat I had to change the mouse but anyway uh, I wasn't finished with the bug story Oh, uh, go ahead, please continue. So anyway, um, met Dave. Sorry, met Def Knight, met Twy, and then also went to his went went to the room to derp around, and then I it was time for me to go to my hotel room. Uh, went in there and waited for well, not really waited. I just rested up and heard a knock at the door. Open the door, 
and met Mr. Spanish himself, James. <laughs> oh, was, yeah. It, it was like a surprise. Like, oh my god, this is this <laughs> <Surprise>. guy. <laughs> Nobody expected the <laughs> Spanish <laughs> artist. That's true. No, but it was like, okay, uh, this is the guy I've been talking for months now. And here in front of me, like, there's... There's no boundary. There's no um, screen to block. Like, oh god, it was so. It was. Oh man, I can't wait. I can't wait for the experience with you, man. It's, it's going to be awesome. Oh, you know it. <laughs> one day, one yeah. day. So yeah, Buck was Buck was awesome. Uh, it, it was memorable. It was really memorable. And then, well, like other things, like you said, keyboards and stuff. I, I think I just. Uh, changed my mouse and got the same one back because I sent it for servicing and whatnot. But the experience, just doing the whole show, uh, having a bit of trouble with certain programs and ooh, the way I was recording it. Well, yeah. I've changed many trades, and what I can tell you is that there is no trade, no deal, no show, nothing out there that won't have at least one problem. <laughs> oh, so one true. little obstacle or annoyance. Oh, that's so true. That's so true. Uh, but uh, there's there th- this year has been awesome. This year has been awesome uh, w- with the bad and the good. And well, uh, from what I can see, there's more good than bad. Like all the good memories. But of course. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And also, um, the past week, like I said, I was at the convention. Uh, didn't do much, but I kind of went there with a friend by car. So it took us about what, uh, technically a five-hour trip. Uh, for Americans, that's like petty cash because some people drive three hours, um, front and back, for their mall or whatever it is. So three hour, five hours is nothing. But in Malaysia, the highway system is not that good, so that three hours or five-hour drive can be a hassle and torturous. But uh, met a few awesome people. Um, need need to give a shout out to, uh, who was it again? Sorry, <laughs> yeah, I need to give a shout out to fan of the show, Elsman, Mel Hilton, guest, previous guest, uh, Celine Low, um, good friend Daniel and the Doctor, and Stephanie. If you're listening, this you're awesome. That corgi outfit you wear was pretty good, and Vincent, and a lot more. Like oh gosh, there, there's so. There's a lot of names. A uh, special shout out to Harit Hidayat or uh, Corridor, the musician, and also probably future guest uh, Ning. I'll I'll get in touch with you. Uh, meeting you guys there was awesome. the The con was not that awesome, but you guys there made it bearable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, I don't know. This I, I hope next year will be awesome. I just need to step up my game and make next year awesome. We all need to step up our game a little bit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Picking up a notch. Yeah, I'll change the format a bit. Change the format a bit. But anywho, uh, so from any memorable moments for this year that you can mm-hmm. share or tell us, maybe an this year I realized what is my destiny. Well, I knew that a long time ago, but. Given my history, well, long story short, I was an artist at the very beginning. But by the end of the school years, I was told stories like how the world works, how there's rivalry among artists, how there's like uh, fights and struggles, cheatery, backstab. Like, oh, God, you know, and I was like an idiot, like mm-hmm. an idiot. I listened, I believed, and I decided to look for another path in life. And so thus begun my three year search for an alternative. Till I got to the point this year in the summer that I got to the point like, what am I doing? This is not me. I'm wasting my talents, my life. And I was like, you know what? Screw this. Screw you. Screw you. And screw you in particular, my good sir. Got what I had, bought a tablet, and so began my regeneration. <laughs> Cue the Doctor Who theme song now. Pew! <laughs> oh, God, no. Yeah, and this year has been nothing but practicing, drawing in. Let's see now. Three, six... Over 10 months, I've been drawing at home, taking commissions every now and then. It was, work was little, but it was enough to make progress, to make me feel that I can make a difference doing this and not wasting my time in a factory. The other time, it was enough to like discover that there is no such thing as rivalry or whatever I was told was complete and out of it nonsense. It was a lie. 
Well, I should have realized at the very beginning that there, those people who told me this, there weren't artists. What did they know? <laughs> they don't know anything, and they're talking about it like they were there. They did that. They're not going back. <laughs> like, take me. Like, I can say about factories. I can say about customer service retail. I've been there. I've done that. I know what that's like. I can't say things about like astronomy or like flying planes and stuff like that. I haven't been there, so I don't know. Like, it's just that some people. I swear. Another reason to become a hermit. <laughs> oh, no. But anyway, but yeah. yeah, I mean, you're, you discovered something, so that's good. And now we're moving up. Next yep, year, yep. I got to step it up a bit. Yep, yep, so true, so true. So what's your plan for next year, man? To become awesome. <laughs> to raise enough uh, money to go to a convention or at least visit a country where which one of our team members are at. <laughs> like you in Malaysia or James in Spain. Or maybe yeah. go back to England to like return a debt to an old friend. Uh, yeah, there's a few places I can do. There's a lot of things that can be done, seen. All right. Yeah, you do that, man. That'll be it awesome. It all depends on the effort I'm going to put into there. And next year, I will put the effort. It's do or die, man. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I ain't going back to no stick in the factory or no flipping retail. I've been there, and I'm not going back. Nope. Not even for a thousand dollars an hour. Not even for a thousand dollars a minute. What? No, oh, dude, a thousand dollars a minute. Do it, man. It's not about the money, man. Of course, yes, money is an essential thing nowadays, but I just need just enough to keep me afloat. I don't want a mansion. I don't want a car. I just want to be here and do my thing, and I will. And if someone tries to tell me otherwise, I'm going to take all my brushes, <laughs> shove it up one of their... S- <clears throat> Orifice? That too. <laughs> and did you? tell them everything that I think about them <laughs> and all the languages that I know. Uh, let's, uh, Russian probably, but anywho, anywho, I know more than just Russian. Shush, we don't need to know. We don't need to know what you want to do. So yeah, next year is going to be a kick-ass year, and I will make it so. Mm, yay! All uh, the gods of the world is my witness. All right, all I right. will reign upon thee. All right, all right. Uh, as for me, next year, um. Like I said in the previous episode, next year I am going to try to do a vlog and maybe a Let's Play channel. Um, I heard there's all the rage and <laughs> there's a few games that I want to play live in person. And since Rom here plays video games a lot, so we might do something together. Probably diving diving and kicking. <laughs> oh yeah, mm. looking forward to that. Yep, yep. So we'll see, we'll see. So anywho, uh, let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is going to be shoutouts. My shoutout goes to well, uh, obviously you, Rom. Thank you for being on. And also, it's a pleasure. Thank you. And also, Arthur Kane. Thank you for liking and reblogging the show via Tumblr. It helps a lot, man. Thank you so much. And also to a silly pony, Mini Applejack on Twitter. Thank you very much for supporting the show too. Uh, your raves and re- well, uh, what what do they call it on Twitter? Retweets, yes, retweets. Uh, those help a lot. Thank you so much. And uh, let's see, who do I else do I want to thank? Like Puffy, Puffy is a awesome gal. Uh, was on the last show. Uh, dropped the first curse word, <laughs> and uh, Sweetie Bot was not happy about that. <clears throat> And also to James for being on when he can and for being a supportive friend. And also to Silverquill for the awesome shows that he do and being on and being just awesome. And also who else? Who else? There, there's a lot of people. Um, to Daniel. Daniel, um, you're an awesome guy. Thank you for uh, supporting the show in the way you do. Uh, do come on again. And to... The doctor, you're you're fun. <laughs> Who else? Oh god, there's a lot of people. There. Oh god, there's so many people I can't remember. Oh yeah, to MLP Protein Shake on uh, Twitter. Thank you for well listening to the show. We miss you. Send us emails. <laughs> uh, you wrong? I would thank mommy, daddy, my little bro, my grandma, my uncle, the rest of my family. I'd like to thank you for letting me the newscaster, no matter how insane and annoying I am. It could be at times. Me and my big mouth sometimes is where. Yeah, <laughs> we'll need to work on that next year as well. Mm-hmm. I would also like to thank the Academy. Oh, God, the Academy again. 
No, just kidding. I never went to Noir Academy, man. <laughs> oh, you. They, there's nothing they can teach me. Oh, yeah. sure. There's a lot to teach, man. I would like to thank James. Mm-hmm. It was him who ignited the spark for my return. Mm. I, did I ever told you the story how I exactly got back? Got back on what? Drawing? As an artist. As oh, an no. artist. No, you didn't. One day I was came home from work and I like was catching up with a friend of mine. I met like when I was in England. He's been, yeah. Anyway, I was asking him, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "I'm watching this artist tree." I'm like, "Really? Yes. Could you please link it to me?" And then I saw James, that Spanish guy, smiling, drawing, and having the time of his life. And then I realized I'm doing the wrong thing. <laughs> oh god. Okay. I should be this. Uh, yeah. That's when the wheel snapped. <laughs> oh, was it turn? Turn snap. Doesn't matter. It it's the mo the mechan mecha- <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> the mechanism went into action. Uh, and the new when... season. <laughs> I had my own new season of Doctor Who. Let's put it that way. Oh my! So basically, yeah. that's well, what got you started drawing. Yes, well, not started, returned. I've been drawing, but for three years, when I was looking for jobs and doing stuff, I was just basically doodling and sketching. I didn't do anything serious. I kind of got rusty, but for out six months, when I got back, after I got back, well, I improved greatly. Mm-hmm, my even art, my Tumblr, my gallery is speaks for itself. Oh, that's true, man, that's true. Uh, me and Puffy were looking at some of your drawings, and we said that, wow, in the span of um, how many months now, uh, you improve a lot. I've been drawing all my life, man. <laughs> but like I said, then I heard stories, and I got scared, and I wussed out, and then I came back. Yeah, keep drawing, man, because you have a talent for it. A gift from above, as they say here in the village. In- <laughs> indeed, indeed. So, uh, that's all? Yes, that is all. All right, cool, cool. So, anywho, uh, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mishow at gmail.com. And if you'd like to email us personally, links are in the show notes. You can also reach us on Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at mbshow. Sweetiebot will tweet back to you uh tweet out stuff for the show and also school people who curse on this show she's looking at you Puffy <laughs> <laughs> and also you can reach me at Norman Sanzo I tweet about toys food and whatever tickles my fancy and since I was at a con I took pictures of cosplayers not a lot but some so probably I'll post them up and Rom where can they reach you you can reach me at my gallery at relishes.dnr.com or my Tumblr ask blo- Xbox. <laughs> Xbox? <laughs> Xbox? A- ask box. Okay. At reliciousgallery.tumblr.com. I'm also available for hire for a decent price. I can draw your OC. I can draw you a landscape. I can draw you a greeting card. Anything that could tickle your fancy. Hmm. Safe for work and slightly not safe for work. <laughs> this Ask work. me for more details on what I can draw and what I will never not. <laughs> Professionals gotta have standards, man. Oh god, that last. Oh, remember that last stream that you did? Oh, no, god. we're not talking about that. We're not talking about that. That never happened. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. What? Awesome. what last stream? I never oh, awesome work, by the way. Awesome work with what you had to do. <laughs> no, what were you talking about? I didn't do any streams. Never, nothing ever happened. I was out of town. I was uh, visiting my grandma. I was fixing her pipes. Yeah, that's right. Uh, corner, only corner, and I will know. <laughs> Anywho, and also I have please... no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> and also. Please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. Yes, we have the Facebooks. You can also catch us on PonyBelive.com. Links will be provided in the show notes. So, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am Romuald, a.k.a. Relicious. <laughs> and Rom, take us out. And we will see you next year. Bye-bye. See you next year. Bye-bye.